everyone! Today I am super excited because I'm going to show you how to make these delicious Copycat Cheesecake Factory Tex-Mex Egg Rolls. These are my absolute favorite appetizer at the Cheesecake Factory and I can't wait to show you guys how to make it, so let's get started with the video. Begin by preparing your ingredients. First, dice one tomato. When you're finished, place half of the diced tomatoes in a bowl and then dry the other half. Use paper towels to dry the tomatoes so they aren't as wet anymore. Then set your dried tomatoes to the side. We're going to use these tomatoes for the egg rolls and then the tomatoes we placed in the bowl for some pico de gallo. Next, dice one jalapeno. Finally chop one bunch of cilantro. And dice about two cups worth of chicken. I'm using leftover rotisserie chicken. When you have finished preparing all of your ingredients, set them to the side. Next, we're going to make our pico de gallo. In the bowl with the diced tomatoes, add some diced onions. Then add one to two tablespoons of cilantro, a half a teaspoon of salt, and the juice of one lime. Mix everything together and then set it to the side. Next, in a large pan over medium heat, add one tablespoon of olive oil. Then add half a diced onion, half a diced red bell pepper, and half a diced green bell pepper. Then saute your bell peppers and onions for about three to four minutes. After sauteing your onions and peppers, add one tablespoon of minced garlic, and then saute everything together for one more minute. Next, add one cup of corn, one cup of black beans, the diced jalapeno, diced chicken, and diced tomatoes we prepared before. Then mix everything together until well combined. Once everything is mixed together, add a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of pepper, one teaspoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of coriander, one teaspoon of cumin, a half a teaspoon of onion powder, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, one fourth teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and two tablespoons of cilantro. Then stir and cook everything together. When you're finished, take your pan off the heat and then add a half a cup of Monterey Jack cheese. After mixing in the cheese, you are done making your filling. Now we can prepare the egg rolls. Next, take out an egg roll wrapper. Then add two to three scoops of your filling at the center of the wrapper. Once you've added your filling, brush the edges of the wrapper with water. Now we can fold our egg roll. Take the vertical ends of your egg roll wrapper and place it in the center. 
Then take the horizontal end of your egg roll wrapper and place it in the center as well. Then tuck and tightly roll your egg roll once. And now the end of your egg roll wrapper should look like a triangle. Brush the end with some water and then continue to roll your egg roll. And that's it, you finish folding your egg roll. Now repeat this process until you've used all of your filling. When you finish folding all of your egg rolls, you can go ahead and fry them. Fill a pot or deep fryer with vegetable oil and then heat the oil up to around 350 degrees. Once the oil is hot, fry your egg rolls for about 3-5 to five minutes or until golden brown. When your egg rolls have finished frying, take them out and place them on a wire rack. Then repeat this process with the rest of your egg rolls. When you finish making your egg rolls, you can go ahead and enjoy. And this is the finished result! This is my second favorite thing that I've made this month. These egg rolls were so freaking good, they tasted just like the ones from the Cheesecake Factory. They were crunchy and packed full of flavor. Plus, they're pretty easy to make. By the way, I paired the egg rolls with the pico de gallo and some avocado ranch, which was absolutely delicious. These egg rolls went great with the avocado ranch. I recommend squeezing some lime on top of your egg roll, then dipping it in the avocado ranch, and then adding some pico de gallo on top so you get all the flavors. It tastes so good. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything I used in this video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!